Oh, kinda hope I'm in frame. Still don't have a monitor to see myself. Ah, oh, shoot, I got some. <laughs> got a dead cat from Road. I've noticed when I vlog, then, and there's like a lot of wind, the mic just can't handle it, so. This is for the Wade Mic Pro Plus. This is what is usually on the mic. This is what it comes with. I'm gonna put this on. I'm not able to figure out, does this stuff come out? Cause this isn't fitting my mic. Did I get it for the wrong mic? Video Mic Pro Plus, I guess this is supposed to be it. I mean, it fits more or less. Can you guys tell the difference? I don't think you can. There's no, there's no wind in here. But um, here's my, here's the second thing I'm, uh, here's the second thing I'm unboxing. This is the big ticket item. This, as I'm hoping you've seen the title of this video, this is the Sony G Master. 16 to 35? I'm not sure. I left my switchblade back at home, so this becomes much harder. I don't even know if the audio is working. I'm just hoping it is. Oof. Big oof. How nice of them to give a to give a bag for a two thousand dollar lens. Ooh, sight. Oh, the lens is in the bag. Interchangeable lenses, Sony A mount and E mount. Okay. Seems like a high quality product. Wow. Here's something I can tell you on first look. Mm. I've always used Canon and this is a Sony and it's inverse. See, see how it starts out at the biggest number and then you, as you roll it, Clockwise, anti-clockwise, one of the directions towards the right, clockwise, yeah. <laughs> you can see that it decreases and it is not a total internal length. This on the other hand is locked. This on the other hand, as you roll it outwards, it becomes narrower and not wider. So that's something that's an immediate first sight. I'll put this on in just a second so you guys can take a look. This is not the world's most interesting unboxing, but I'm pretty excited. So I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna put it on on all auto and all the settings as they are right now. And you should see the lens change now. Ah. So you can probably notice that this frame's a lot wider because this is, the lens I was shooting at was a 35mm for Canon and this is a 16 to 35 so it's much wider a lens. One thing I've, I've noticed is that for a lot of people this lens is kind of heavy but um, for me personally I don't feel the difference because I was shooting a Sigma Art 35 for Canon with a Metabones adapter so that made it heavy as it is. So it was much heavier than the 16 to 35 that I just put on. The autofocus seems to work really well. I'm hoping it's working. I don't know what the settings are right now. I haven't changed them. I believe it was 1.4 when I was shooting earlier. 
so it should automatically go to a 2.8 if it's the same way as it works on Sony as it is on Canon. Does this mean that I've switched to Sony? Absolutely not. I'm just going to try out this lens for a few days, see if I like it, maybe I'll keep it, maybe not. This is the first time I'm trying native Sony glass on my a7 III, so that's a big oof for me. But um, I am hoping to see the new EOS R5. I'm seeing the specs on that, I've, I've been seeing the rumors. Obviously no official announcement yet, but it should be out soon. So next purchases for my lineup basically depend on the EOS R5 or R6, whichever one's the flagship. If it can compete with the big boys at Sony in the mirrorless pond, then that's something I'm going to be leaning towards. If not, I'm going to be switching to Sony completely. I do have a lot of Canon glass just lying around my table right now because this is what I primarily use. But the, I'm just from like a quick look, the Sony autofocus and the Sony glass does so much better with the Sony body. Reasons for not keeping this lens could potentially be the big price line. It's a $2,000 lens and um, Tamron makes a 18 to 25 or 28, I'm not sure. It should be 18 to 28 at 2.8, which is less than half the price. It's 700 bucks right now. I think it released at 800. This lens is about two years old now as well. So that coming out is a big change. Then Sigma has also Sigma also has their 14 to 24, 2.4 or 2.8. I'm not sure. It's got to be 2.8. Uh, that's also on the market, which is a thousand bucks. I thought someone someone was knocking on the door, which is also a thousand bucks. So that's that. I don't know what I'm going to be doing right now, but I really wanted to try this lens on. Maybe I'm getting rid of my A7 III, maybe not. If I do, I'm going to get rid of the lens as well, obviously. This Canon does not have an open mount. You can only use Canon glass on it. And, and I don't believe there are any other RF lenses right now. If you wanted to get those, uh, Sigma and Tamron do not make any. But expect a lot of vlogs to be coming out soon. I thought I'd vlog today, but I only had one class, and that was to the museum. They don't allow cameras in there for intellectual property theft reasons. So that's that, and I'll see you guys in another one. See ya.